Well, Hal, our next guest on the golden threshold of the $64,000 question is from Tule, Greenland, Peter Croyken. Good evening, Peter. Good Welcome evening. back Good to evening. the show. Good evening. You're looking very chipper tonight. Yes, a little warm. It is a little warm yeah. here, isn't it? Peter, do you mind if I make a personal observation about you? Oh, no, go ahead. Well, with your beard and the salty air about you, did anyone ever tell you you resembled Captain Ahab and Moby Dick? No, no, sir. But by the way, I heard they made a movie of it, and uh, Craig Ray Peggy's playing it. Very yeah. flattering. I'm very comfortable. Well, I meant Thank it you. that way. Thank I you. Thank it. you. That's all right. That's fine. Under the beard, I imagine you do look a little like Gregory Peck. You're both tall. Well, have you have you ever gone whale hunting, Peter? Well, that's my trait. You sure I have, yes. Yeah. But uh, not uh, like uh, the Captain Ahab did. I'm just uh, whaling up in Greenland. And we don't go go for sperm whales there. We just go for white whales, blue whales, now whales, and white whales, and the kind that's up there, you see. Well, how do you go about hunting a whale? Well, you see, the modern ways of whaling uh -huh. is to have a gun in the bow on the boat. But I'm going the old way, you know, using the hand harpoon. Well, I was and just about to ask you how you do it. You, you do it yeah, all? Yes. Yeah, so with your hand, you have the line on this side, you know, and yeah. throw it out there and, and uh, hit the whale. What does the whale do? He goes down to the button and stays there for an hour or two, if he can, and he's scared, you know. I imagine he is a little scared, yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, does he ever come up? Sure. He has to go up and get his air, get air again, and then he gets the second harpoon. Like and you hit him again when he comes up. Yes, huh? he's pretty sick, you know, when he's been down there for a long time. <laughs> and then he get the third harpoon and we keep on until we get him. You can keep him. You're entitled to it after all. <laughs> How many whales do you think you harpooned in your life? Well, 20, 30. I, I don't count them, you know. We just yeah. cut them up and get the blubber. Well, that's a lot of blubber, 30 whales. Sure. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Peter, let's yeah. get on with the game because okay. I'm sure you're yeah. interested in winning a little money here. Last I week, you, we ran out of time just after you uh, answered the $5, $512 question. Now it's time to step over to the area of Mr. Fight and answer the $1,000 question, yeah, okay? Fine. Would you follow me, Peter, please? You should. In the category of seven Cs, which covers many yeah. things, your question for a thousand dollars. You ready for oh, it? Yes. Here we go. This question is on maritime geography, Peter. For one thousand dollars, what islands owned by the United States are the preserve and breeding ground for the largest herds of fur seals? Well, that's the Pueblo Islands up at uh, close to Alaska. You're right. Just a flat thousand dollars. told me they were in Wyoming. It wouldn't have made any difference. Your next question's worth $2,000. Do you feel sure. like going for it? Sure, sure. All right, Peter, here it is. $2,000 question deals with oceanography and wind flow. Okay. For $2,000, tell me first, in what direction does the upper current flow through the Strait of Gibraltar? Second, in what direction does the monsoon blow from April to October? First, in what direction does the upper current flow through the Strait of Gibraltar? The upper current from blue flow to the east from, uh, from at, at Atlantic Sea in the middle. That's correct. Middle Second, in what direction does the monsoon blow from April to October? From April to October, it blows from southwest to northeast. That's correct for 2000. <laughs> With each question, Peter's getting a little wider smile. Your next question's worth $4,000. Fine, go on. All right, $4,000. Sorry, it takes a little time to get them out of the envelope. <laughs> All right, for $4,000, your question is on exploring. For $4,000, tell me these three things. First, what Portuguese navigator discovered the sea route to India and later died while Viceroy of India at Cochin? Next, well, let's take that if you want to answer that. Well, uh, that was uh, Fernando... Uh, not uh, das Vasco da Gama. That's correct. Died 1521. Uh, That's not necessary. Oh, I didn't even know he was sick, to be honest. With you. <laughs> the, next, the next part of this question. What American sea captain first sighted Antarctica? 
Oh, that was uh, Captain Palmer from Stonington. That's correct. Third, for $4,000, what is the full name and nationality of the man for whom the Barents C is named? That's B-A-R-E-N-T-S-C. <coughs> that was the Dutch Captain uh, Willem Barents. That's right, for $4,000. <laughs> The next okay, well, that's then. all right. It's fine. You Thank just you. Pick, picked up four thousand dollars. You're having a lot of fun, Peter. Sure, thanks for being sure. with us. We'll see you Thank next you. week. Okay. Thank Good night, you. Peter. Good night. You know, ladies, no matter how often you use a greasy cream or scrub your face with soap, if you'll forgive my saying this, you still leave some dirt behind. So, I'd suggest getting your skin thoroughly clean with clean and clean. Clean and clear, clean and clear. Any soap, any cream, any lotion cleanser can get your skin clean on the surface. But clean and clear is the only cationic cleanser. Cationic, that means it can reach deep down to attract makeup and grime from five cell layers of your skin. Ordinary cleansers reach only the top cell layer, but clean and clear reaches five. Lifts out makeup and grime that other cleansers leave behind. Remember, dirt-free skin is healthy skin. And your skin looks its beautiful best when it's... Clean and clear. Good idea is to try clean and clear yourself tomorrow. You'll say, my face never felt so clean, my skin never looked so clear. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, before we close tonight, I'd like you now to once again look at some pretty wonderful people who have accumulated quite a fortune over the past year. I won't bother, there are too many of them to say hello to individually, so what do you say I walk by them and a crisp general congratulations and we'll share the year. Here they are, here are some of the people. That's me. is arranged by American Airlines who will fly contestants in luxurious comfort aboard DC-7 flagships. 